Wake me up when the sun goes down. Feelings right, you. Wake me up when the sun goes down. Sleepless nights, you. Wake me up when the sun goes down. I can't help it, baby. Not myself when the sun goes down. This time, me and my parents travelled to Pune a little different. Instead of travelling by the car the usual way, we decided to travel by a bus. So we booked our ticket with redbus.com and it was a 6.30am bus with a 2.5 hours journey time. To reach Pune, the most famous route is a Mumbai Pune Expressway if you are travelling from Mumbai. And on the expressway, you will find lots of food courts. Our bus stopped at one such food court and I grabbed myself a snack. After eating, we continued our journey. More one and a half hours was left to reach Pune. We dropped at the last stop at the Swar Gate and continued to travel from there by rickshaws. The very first stop was the Agrushe Temple. It is a very old temple of Lord Ganesh and it is one of the famous temples in Pune. We were lucky enough to have no queue for the temple and the darshan was nice. From the Dagrushe temple, our next stop was Janivarwara. It is only 5 to 10 minutes away from the temple and we walked our way to it, thanks to Google Maps. So here it is, the palace of Peshwa Baji Rao. Let me give you a better view. Here you go. Stop number two, we are in Shaniwarwada. This was built years back by Baji Rao. And I wanted to see this since the movie Baji Rao Mastani was released. And now I'm here exploring the place. So this is the view from the palace. This place is humongous and it is very well maintained. The views are just amazing. The steps so big, like literally they're so big. More steps. Oh. <laughs> they had fountains back then. literally 200 rupees by auto to reach over here the entry for the palace is also 15 rupees and foreign citizens it's 200 Like uh, you can see 
see that it's very cloudy right now, but there's no sun, therefore the climate is very nice. On the way back home, we stopped at the famous Kaka Halwai, which is located near the Guru Shet Temple. They offer a variety of sweets and farsan. I ate a rasmalai over there, and it was amazing. So we had some time to kill before we board our bus back home. So we explored the city, went to the market area. I had a great time in Pune. It was a nice short trip. Every time I come here, I see a new place in Pune and there's so much more to explore. Pune is such a growing city with the history intact and I'm sure I'll come back again. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it so far, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye.